Hey all, how's it going? It is the 14th of January 2024 and we have our significant tropical cyclone Belal gunning it towards Reunion Island which is just down here. This is looking to have a major impact on the island. We're looking at extreme strong winds but the rainfall could be absolutely monumental off this storm as it slowly passes over the island. Over here is Madagascar and then Mauritius is over here. Let's take a look at it. Here is Bilal in the infrared imagery. Uh, Reunion is down here and you can see the cloud tops are bursting through into the whites just briefly which means minus 90 Celsius. It's quite a compact central dense overcast. There isn't a discernible eye in this imagery However, in the microwave imagery, an eye has been being detected through the clouds, and this is because this is an active radar source that shoots a radar beam down and that can detect rainfall through the clouds. The storm is currently over very warm waters. If I put the cursor over the warm waters, and if you check over on the left, you'll see it go up and down, indicating the temperature. The temperatures of the waters to the northwest of Reunion, where the storm is, are 29 to 30 degrees Celsius and if we put on the sea surface temperature differences from normal you'll see that these temperatures are actually 1 to 2 degrees Celsius above normal. The storm has formed in a broad area of above normal temperatures while the temperatures to the south are below normal. As a result of these very warm waters the maximum potential intensity which indicates the maximum possible intensity of a tropical cyclone in the region given favorable other environmental conditions. Reunion is just here at the tip of the arrow and you can see that it's right on the boundary between the purple and the pink which is between category 3 and category 4 on the Saffir Simpson scale. The last joint typhoon warning center forecast made the storm come directly over Reunion peaking in intensity at landfall at 105 knots which would make it a category three hurricane landfall, a major hurricane landfall on the western coast of Reunion. That is at 12 UTC on the 15th of January, 12 UTC tomorrow. However, the lack of a distinct eye suggests it has not undergone rapid intensification and actually there has been some warming of the cloud tops on the northern side in recent frames. So it's not clear whether the storm is actually rapidly intensifying at this moment. Reunion Island is four hours ahead of UTC, so that indicates a, afternoon, a late afternoon landfall of the center of the storm. But the impacts are already being felt and will be felt throughout from now throughout this whole period and well beyond. Here is the most recent polar orbiting satellite data. It's just come in a few hours ago. This is the Suomi MPP Verus with the storm off the coast of Reunion down here. Let's bring on the track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and this shows the storm coming across basically making a direct landfall on Reunion just clipping the north coast and if we remove the satellite view we can get a view of why this is so significant with regards to rain in particular because of Reunion's complicated and high topography. The mountains reach over 3,000 meters. Because of the mountains, we're expecting a no number of things to happen. One is uh, certain sides of the mountains will receive persistent and extreme rainfall lasting over a long period of time for this slow moving tropical cyclone. We'll try and figure out which sides those are in a moment. The other thing is that the central core of the circul circulation of the storm should be affected by the topography. It's large enough to do it and we would expect some disruption to the eye wall and the core of the circulation. Some of these impacts because of the mountains can be seen in the latest Hurricane Wharf forecast. The storm itself is rotating in this direction in a clockwise direction and so that means that as the storm approaches the rain is coming off the from the north and so to start with we see the heaviest rain in the northeast of the island that's probably ongoing right now and it does come through in this simulation making a landfall a little bit to the south of where the joint typhoon warning center has it at this point with the circulation making landfall 
close to 06Z tomorrow, 15th of January. Extreme rainfall on the central mountains, northern mountains, I mean across the whole island really at this point. And as we go through, we'll see the rainfall switch to more of the southern side of the island, the southern side of the mountains. We see this peak rainfall and that continues for some time, even as the tropical cyclone is moving away from the island, we still see the extreme rainfall as those winds now coming from the south are lift, being lifted up over the mountains and producing and generating extreme rainfall that continues. Even beyond when the major rainfall has gone, the model still indicates that rainfall continuing. So we are expecting extreme totals on both sides of the island, particularly persisting on the southern southern mountain sides after the storm has passed. With obvious risks with regards to landslides, though, this island is well known for extreme rainfall, so hopefully the topography and vegetation is quite resilient to such extreme amounts. Now switching over to the surface winds, and this will show us the effects of the mountains on the circulation of the storm. You can see the calm wake spreading out in the lee of the mountains, some blocking and acceleration of flow around the northeast side, uh, northwest side of the island. And that is concerning for that area in particular for extreme winds on the northwestern corner of the island. As the eye wall reaches reunion, we will expect a surge of extreme northerly winds impacting the islands, particularly areas like St. Denis, which will be prone to storm surge, St. Paul as well. The winds could be accelerated by the topography on this northwestern side. So these are probably the areas that will experience the first and maybe the worst of the extreme winds. The model also indicates some wobbling of the track as the storm passes over and interacts with the mountains. So we may see that as well, as well as some disruption to the core circulation. And things get a bit stranger after the storm moves past Reunion and Mauritius. It does move out slowly towards the southeast, but it encounters weaker steering as it approaches the a longitude of 60 east and then we begin to see it turn back round and it actually almost backtracks back towards Mauritius in this simulation the European Center model. The Hurricane Wharf is also backtracking the uh, system. Let's check where the GFS puts it at this time. The GFS is also stalling it but not bringing it as far back round. But that is out on the 19th of January. Uh, that is quite a ways out, so we'll have to wait and see how this steering evolves over the coming days. So let's take a look at those rainfall totals in the European Santa model. Next 24 hours, most of the rain on the northern side, 73 millimeters. If we go to three days, though, it bumps up uh, greatly as the storm passes over. We're approaching, we are at 400 millimeters. This is a fairly coarse resolution model. I would not be surprised in that there would be locally higher amounts of rainfall over half a meter perhaps in the mountains. Overall then we're looking at a very highly impactful storm on Reunion, particularly with regards to rainfall. It's unclear that it has at this point, it does not appear to have rapidly intensified. It's unclear whether it will be major hurricane strength that landfall, but it well could be. And if so, then the wind damage could be substantial. Overall, though, the rain is going to be extreme for sure, and the slow-moving storm then behaves rather strangely in the long term, possibly stalling and backing track a little bit. So be safe out there in Reunion, and we will see you in the next one.